everyone, it's Jarrett Moore with the Enterprise DNA team back today with another video. I'm going to show you the difference between the treat as function and the use relationship function that are used when creating DAX measures. How I got this idea for this video was from a question that was on the Enterprise DNA forum. So without further ado, let's hop on over to the forum and go over to this forum question. We had Pedro here. He's one of the members on the Enterprise DNA forum. He had a question. Basically, he has a fact table that has a bunch of different dates in it, and he was trying to create either an active or inactive relationship between that table and the dates table. Link to this forum post will be in the description below. Here's a little background on the treat as and use relationship functions. Let's head on over and have a look at the treat as function on the DAX guide through the Enterprise DNA website. With the treat as function, how does treat as function work? It applies the result of a table expression as filters to columns from an unrelated table. So there is no active or inactive relationship between, in this case, the dates table and the fact table. Let's head on over to use relationship. With use relationship, it specifies the relationship to be used in a specific calculation as that the one exists between column name one and column name two. So in this case, if we're creating a DAX measure, the use relationship function will be used if we had an inactive relationship between the dates table and our fact table. That's a little background on the use relationship and treat as function. Let's head on over to Power BI Desktop and see how this all get, comes together. Let's have a look at my data model so we can see how this is all set up. In the data model over here, I'll close some of these up for you here. Basically a very simple model. I have the fact table, which is called the jobs, and then we have the date table. And as you can see, I've already created measure tables for the treat as measures and for the use relationship measures. So let's have a look at the data model first here. As we look here, you can see that there's a date table. We have the jobs table, which is the facts table. And then I have my job measures table over here. Now what you see on the screen here, all these relationships with the dotted line, that is an inactive relationship between the dates table and the jobs table for multiple dates. This is when we would use the use relationship function. Now, if none of these inactive relationships or inactive relationships were between these two tables, that's when we would use the treat as function. Now let's head back on over here to the model and see how these measures look for the treat as and use relationship functions when creating measures. Let's have a look at that treat as relationship first. The treat as measure is once again, the treat as is relationships if we didn't have any active or inactive relationships between the date table and my fact table. So in this fact table here, we have multiple dates in this table. There's a receive date, an estimate approved date, a start date, an invoice date, and a close date for this example here. So we're in the treat as function here. Treat as, once again, no active or inactive relationship between that date table and the jobs table. So let's open up the treat as measures here. And if we go to the received, so I can get that received count measure and the total estimates number that you see here. First measure here, pop this up on the screen. It's just basically a, a calculate the number of jobs. And then we use the treat as function and I'm using the values function as well. And then we just have the date column from the date table and the received date column from the jobs table or the fact table. Very similar situation if we looked to get the total estimates number, as you see on the screen here, is we're just calculating um, the total estimates with the treat as, the values, and then we're using that date column from the date table, and we're using the received date from the fact table or the jobs table. Now let's hop on over and look at the use relationship tab. As you can see on the screen here, this use relationship function on this screen, the numbers on this page right here match what was on this treat as as well. So we're using this uh, basically different functions to, to come up with the same different or the same answer to what we want to get for our DAX measure. 
With the use relationship function, once again, that is where we saw those dashed lines between the date table and the fact table or the jobs table here. So you have to have an inactive relationship in order to use the use relationship function. And what this does is it actually makes that inactive relationship active. So if we look at the received measures for the use relationship on this one, let me open up the use relationship measures table here. And we'll have a look at the receive measure here for the count again. And once again, we have that job. We're going to calculate the number of jobs and we're going to use the use relationship function. And then we're just using the date column from the date table and the receive date column from that jobs table or fact table. And then here's what that total estimates measure looks like for the receive date. So once again, we're calculating total estimates use relationship function, and then we're using the date column from the date table and the receive date from the jobs table. That's about all that I wanted to share for this video, but just keep in mind the next time you run into an issue like this that you have, you, you have different options to either use the treat as function or the use relationship function, depending on how your model is set up. One more recap of each one of these functions before I let you go. When you want to use the treat as function to create a DAX measure, you have to make sure that you don't have any inactive or active relationships between this date table and your fact table. And vice versa with the use relationship function in your DAX measure, you're going to need an inactive relationship between, between that dates table and your jobs or fact table in order to create that measure. That's all for now. If you haven't already subscribed to the DNA or Enterprise DNA YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button below. Also, give this video a like below. And that's all for now. Thanks.